Hi guys in another video by MTech Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S21's advertising campaign just leaked, and it's confirmed key information about the phone's design and specs. Both the normal Galaxy S21, and the high-spec Galaxy S21 Ultra, appear in the images posted to Omniac's voice page. Both certainly look like official Samsung ads, which provide strong proof of some of the numerous leaks we've heard over the past few months. We see from the promo material, how the new triple camera bump design bleeds over onto the edge of the phone, the most distinct part of the S21's look. Those three cameras will have 12 megapixel main, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 64 megapixel telephoto sensors. According to earlier leaks, you can also see how much wider the S21 Ultra's bump is, necessary for fitting its additional 3x zoom 10 megapixel telephoto camera and laser autofocus sensor in. That goes alongside a 108 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and the other 10 megapixel telephoto camera, which is thought to have 10x zoom. Only two colors are visible in these renders, but they both match the lead colors we've seen already. The S21 Ultra is clad in phantom black, while the S21 and S21 Plus is shown in phantom violet. There are other colors, both in the violet's pastel style and the black's glossy style, but all bearing a phantom marketing name. Full specs for all three Samsung Galaxy S21 models have leaked. The Galaxy S21 may look pretty similar to the Galaxy S20, based on the renders we've seen. According to Ice Universe on social media site Voice, the S21 has a vertical camera stack that looks similar to the Galaxy Note 20 series, and the front display is flat instead of curved. Ice Universe has also revealed that the S21 and S21 Plus will both come with the same 2.5D screens included with their S20 counterparts, while the S21 Ultra will come with a more traditional curved display. We may finally be getting an official glimpse at the Galaxy S21 lineup. Speaking of camera rays, the Galaxy S21's cameras are shaping up to be largely similar to what we saw on the Galaxy S20, but with some key upgrades to the most premium model. The Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Plus will once again sport triple cameras in the back. Also Samsung will be bringing back 100x space soon, while introducing laser autofocus on the S21 Ultra, to avoid some of the focus problems from last year's model. In the US the Galaxy S21 should be powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 888. And the rest of the world will use Samsung's next processor the Exynos 2100, and it'll be another 5 nanometer chip. This chip was originally thought to be called the Exynos 1000, and could come with a graphics accelerator made with AMD. Each Galaxy S21 model is expected to feature 128GB of storage in the base configuration, with the option to upgrade to 256GB. And S21 Ultra owners will also be able to opt for 512GB. And a bad thing for Samsung this year the Galaxy S21 won't include a charger or headphones in the box. So what do you think about this? Tell us in comment below. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will upport S Pen, but as an optional accessory, the starting prices of the three available models are €849, Euros, €1,049, Euros, and €1,399 respectively. So, it's less than a week until the Galaxy S21 launches at a Samsung Unpacked event on January 14th. At 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the event will stream online. Other products rumored to be appearing at the same time are Samsung's new pair of earbuds, the Galaxy Buds Pro, and its new Galaxy Smart Tag Tracker and Product Finder. Thanks for watching everybody, see you in another video.